Blessings in Jesus, friends, and welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people sing, Hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust this finds you doing well this morning, that you are blessed, and that your mind is upon the things of God. Today is July 14th, in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the soul. Now our text yesterday was out of the book of Daniel and today I want to tell you another story from the book of Daniel and I don't think that you'll recognize these names. I want to talk to you about three young men by the name of Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. You would know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. For in chapter 1, verse 6, we are told among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah of Abednego. Now our story is going to pick up in chapter 3, And verse 1 through 7, which says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent together, together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and captains, the judges and treasurers, the counselors and sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you will fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace." Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, all the nations, and all the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. So what we see taking place here is that King Nebuchadnezzar thinks so highly of himself that he has exalted an image and he has commanded all to bow and worship. But if you know the Jewish heritage, they are to bow or to worship no one but Yahweh himself. And so it tells us in verse 8, At that time certain Chaldeans came near and they accused the Jews, not just Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but all the Jews because they refused to bow down unto this idol that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Now in verse 12 it tells us there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, specifically Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee. So it would appear that some of the Jews have given to the pressure that Nebuchadnezzar has laid upon them because they are terrified of being thrown into a fiery furnace, and yet they're more fearful of men than they are of God. Now Jesus told us, You are not to fear men. You are to fear God who has the ability to cast your soul into hell. And if you bow down to idols and worship pagan gods, then you're putting yourself in a place of judgment before Yahweh because God is going to honor his word. And therefore, the people are going to be held accountable for bowing to men instead of honoring God. So these certain Chaldeans continue their accusation. They say, O king, these three have not regarded thee. They do not serve your gods, nor do they worship the golden image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they brought these men before the king. 
And Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not you serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if you be ready, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made. Then it will be well with you. But if you do not worship, you will be cast this same hour into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? So Nebuchadnezzar has placed himself above the Almighty. He continues in verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful. We are not afraid to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve your gods, nor will we worship the golden image which you have set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven times hotter than it was known to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that, that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. And so Nebuchadnezzar has given his word. He must be faithful to his word. But where he one time respected and honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, because his pride has gotten in the way, now he dishonors. It tells us in verse 19 that the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, in verse 22, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace was exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So when they opened the door to cast Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace, the flame was so hot it leaped out and it killed these men. Verse 23, these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, and he rose up in a hurry and spake and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said, Yes, O king, this is true. He answered and said unto them, Lo, I see four men loose. Notice loose. They're not bound anymore. I see them loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they do not have any hurt or harm. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. In other words, Nebuchadnezzar says the fourth doesn't even look human. He looks divine. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and he said unto Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, You servants of the Most High God. Now notice, he said back in verse 15, Who is the God that will deliver you out of my hands? But now Nebuchadnezzar says, You servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. So this miraculous occurrence that has happened before the eyes of this pagan king has dissolved his pride and made him acknowledge that God is the most high God. He is the God of all gods. In verse 27, he says, the princes, the governors and captains, the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was a hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed. The smell of fire wasn't even upon them. And then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said these words, friends. Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and has yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any God except their own God. Therefore, just as Darius did, Nebuchadnezzar makes a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amidst or against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Friends, how my heart longs for the people of the world 
who are so caught up in their own lives to recognize this very fact, that the God that they have shunned, the God that they have denied, the God that they have rebelled against is indeed the Most High God and there is no other that can deliver in the manner that he so does for his people. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of all of Babylon. And so God honors the faith of these three men who said these words, our God can deliver us if he so chooses. But if he desires us to be cast into the fiery furnace, no, O king, we will not serve your gods nor worship the image which you have set up. Friends, faith in the very face of death, and yet these men would not succumb to the pressure that was put upon them. We have seen this alive in the day and age that we live with the men and the women who are dying over in the Middle East under the hand of this organization called ISIS, and yet they willingly lay down their lives. It is my prayer that we as the people of God are able, ready, and willing to do the same in the face of death, to remain true to the word of God, his promises, his decrees, his statutes, and his judgments, and that when such a day arises, will do so in the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, meekly, gently, and humbly, we will lay our lives down for our King and his kingdom. Well, I love you, friends. I pray that your journey is blessed today. I pray that you walk in the fullness of joy through the spirit of the living God and that everything that you do today, everything you say today, every way that you act today will bring him glory, honor, and praise. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, friends, I'll see you on the next video.